Over the first week of college basketball, we've started the season strong, going 11-2 and two for plus 8.5 units. It's Monday today. Let's start the week strong and continue the winning ways. Are you guys with me? What's up, sports fans? My name is Chris. You are now watching The Bounds. We are a daily basketball betting show committed to bringing you daily college basketball winners on a daily basis. Today is Monday, November 13th, and in today's video, we have a shortened CBB slate to choose from, but we are coming out firing with two selections we believe have the best opportunity for us to go 2-0 and turn a profit and keep the winning going through this college basketball season. Now, before we get into the plays, though, if you haven't already smashed the like button, please go ahead and do so now. And if you guys are new around here, we are approaching 1,100 subscribers, which is phenomenal. If we can get there by the end of the night, that would be fantastic. If you guys are loving the content and the daily picks we are putting on on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. I do not want you to miss on any great content. Now, without further ado, here's tonight's two selections. The first play we are rolling with is Michigan Wolverines on the money line, plus 130 over the St. John's Red Storm. Look, I've been following this spread since it opened, and some books had it at minus 1.5 in favor of the Johnnies, but it's since been bet up to minus 3 in favor of St. John's, and I have to ask the question, why? What does St. John's have that Michigan doesn't? They both have big men on the interior. They're going to cancel each other out. And outside of a small home court advantage, this game's being played at MSG. The Johnnies are not that deep of a team. They are relying on a bunch of transfers coming into the team this year to mesh together quickly and build chemistry. But let's face it, outside of Stony Brook, they put up 90 points, yes, on offense. But they look messy at times. Michigan, they have scores. They have team chemistry. They have depth. And their defense is a hell of a lot better than Stony Brook can offer, which means Michigan has the advantage in this one, in my opinion. I don't need the points in this one. Give me Michigan. Give me Big Blue on the money line, plus 130. The second play we are rolling with is UC Santa Barbara on the money line, plus 130 over the UTEP Miners. Look, there's absolutely nothing you can take away from UTEP's first two games against non-Division one schools. Sure, they put up 120-plus points in back-to-back -back games, but me, you, and a few buddies can probably drop that amount of points against these non-basketball-playing schools. Now they have to come home face a real team in UC Santa Barbara Guachos, who are the Big West Conference Tournament champions from last year. They are coming off a loss, a disappointing one at that, at home to Portland State to start the season. So I'm expecting them to bounce back in a big way, be uh, focused for this one, and ready to get a nice road win. UC Santa Barbara was caught off guard by Portland State's up-tempo style of basketball, and quite frankly, that does not fit well with what they like to do defensively. UTEP, they play a slow tempo uh, of basketball, and UC Santa Barbara Guachos have enough talent on their roster man-to-man -to, -man to take care of business here against the UTEP team that's going to come crashing back down to earth after those two massive victories. Give me UC Santa Barbara on the road to pick up a big win as they refocus and get their season off, uh, you know, off the schneid here. Give me UC Santa Barbara money line plus 130. That wraps up Monday's episode of The Bounce. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to help support the videos, please smash the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and share these pics with your friends on social media so we can all make some money together. The next episode of The Bounce will be available on Tuesday morning. Until next time.